welcome back to the Belt of Galloway Homestead. I picked this Aladdin lamp up off of uh, our local Craigslist. Keep an eye on that, uh, see if I can get some good deals. And, and this here is a, uh, an Aladdin oil lamp. Uh, not sure how many people are uh, familiar with the Aladdin oil lamp, but um, it's got the round uh, wick and the round mantle. This particular one here is a number 23, and it needs a uh, it needs that mantle up in there. And then I also noticed that this is a little little hard to get off, so I'm going to have to work on this a little bit. But uh, I'm going to start taking this apart, see what it needs. Uh, it's really nice to have this as a backup, uh, even though I have a generator. I'll do a video on that. One of these days but uh, these can give off the equivalent to a 60 watt light bulb I'll try to put some info uh, in the, in the video or a description down below to show that they really burn uh, really burn hot and clean and bright and uh, like I said I think it's a 60 watt um, incandescent equivalent bulb that these give off this one here's a hanger um, you can bit them where they uh, where they sit on the table uh, also get them different types of shades I make one called the Lincoln Shade and that, but uh, pretty nice. Uh, unit still in business. You can get parts. And uh, like I said, I'm going to get this one going. All right. So I took these nuts off that held this retaining ring that held the uh, the lamp in place. And the, uh, the glass chimney there comes down out of the, uh, out of the metal tube that's on this particular hanger. So you got to be careful of that. And this does have a unique chimney on it to, uh, to fit up inside this metal, this metal tube on this hanger. So uh, be careful of that. And then there's also different types here where they, uh, where they connect. You've got, uh, you've got the lock type and then you've got this, just this, the slide on type. And then this is just the slide on type. Uh, again, it's got a different shape. So it can fit up in that in that uh, metal tube there on this uh, on this type of hanger light, and I'll try to find that light online too to see what to see what um, what brand it is in that, so you guys can get some idea. And there's that mantle that's uh, it's missing. It's uh, it's cloth. It's kind of like a sock. I don't know if you're familiar with a Coleman lantern, but it's very familiar to that. Um, it's just a round, uh, a round mantle, and uh, we'll get that done, and I'll, and I'll see what the what it looks like inside here. Hopefully, hopefully it's got clean inside where the, um, where the fuel goes. So here's the round wick I was talking about. There's a lot of oil lamps out there that's just got a flat wick, and they don't burn as clean and as bright, uh, like a bright white light as these do. Um, but they they serve their purpose when you uh, when you need some light, and uh, yeah, it looks like this was been in the um, maybe been in somebody's kitchen for a while there. And was able to clean it up a little bit there, a little bit take some of that, take some of that kitchen grease off there, and it's uh, it's cleaning up quite nicely. Um, the uh, mantle got a new mantle here. It's probably good to have a have one on hand. For this, uh, for this model 23, it's a number R150, and uh, basically it goes on there. It's a version of this, but it's got the uh, it's got the the cloth on it. I'll show you how that installs here in a minute once I get uh, a little bit a uh, little bit this looked over. I got uh, I got to get this loose and uh, and opened, and I got uh, lamp fuel. I keep my lamp fuel in a in a quart jar. The plastic uh, has a tendency to um, deteriorate over time, and it takes uh, it takes special lamp oil too. It takes a extra clean lamp oil to get that nice clean burn on an Aladdin lamp. And I'll I'll try to find that information too, so you can't you know. Uh, I've never done diesel or anything, uh, kerosene or anything like that. I, I burn, uh, it's, it's a special, really clean kerosene. Uh, and I'll, uh, I'll, put a, I'll put a link to that too, just so we know 
what gets burnt for sure in Aladdin lamp. Well, I have to say it cleaned up pretty darn good. Um, from what it was. And I also noticed on the bottom here, it says something about um, made in England for Sherwood. So I will, uh, whoops, let's see here. I'll take a look at that and see where that, where that leads me. But, um, but, oh, let's see, I'm out of focus. There we go. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Clean up really good. And I will uh, get the mantle on there, fill her up with fuel, and uh, try a test burn. Might take a little while for that wick to wick up that fuel to get up there, but, um, but yeah, I think she's in pretty good shape. I think I'll be up in here and running in no time. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of anti-seize on, uh, on this cap. It's a little tough coming off. So I think I'll uh, just put a little anti-seize on there to stop that from uh, any future sticking. And then uh, I'm hoping to have this open here for you so you can see it's uh, the difference there so you can see that cloth on there. And I'll get that out here so we can take a look at it. All right, so got fuel in it, got the uh, the cap all working really well, got the mantles here. I took some uh, took some air and uh, blew all the dust and uh, debris out of that, so uh, we wouldn't have any any issues there. Keep the smell down when the dust starts burning off. I've got to get this. Uh, installed and then we'll get her uh, get her fired up all right so this mantle does say it's a locks on which means that it should turn and lock have some threads in there yep it is on and then we have the initial burn off. And that looked good. And then now I put the chimney in place. I thought the wick looked a little short. So I took it out, and that, that is the retainer there that raises and lowers it, and it clips around. You've seen that. And it turns out that the, the wick was a little short, or is a little short. I bought one here to, uh, to compare, and sure as heck, it is a little short. Um, so I'm going to install that new wick, so it'll be... Uh, in really good shape when I need it and uh, so let's do that well, the first thing to do here is to um, remove the burner from the lamp base Then this new wick this holder needs to go around. Get that engaged. Other side engaged. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oops. Get that slid in there. Move this out of the way. Now these fit down in there. Of course, one side of that needs to fit where the crank is. And then the other side fits on the other. 
I'll give you some pepper paper tabs here to make that easier to pull that pull that wick through. Might need to get me some needle nose and we'll get that worked in there. All right, these paper tabs help you to pull that wick through. Look at it's got a you know again the uh, the Aladdin with the the round wick. That's looking good on there. Get this put in for the crank. Pull this down. Awesome. Looking good. I got me some old bonsai scissors here from my old bonsai days. I'm just going to trim this up while I've got it here. That way it'll burn more uniform. Looking good. Yeah, that cranks it down. Cranks it up. Plenty of wick now to get that a going. All right. So now I'm going to remove the paper. Okay. Make sure we're as low as we can go. Here we are. And now I'm going to put the wick, new wick, into the into the fuel. You can see the still got the fuel in there that I put. And I am going to let this. I'm going to put this together. And I'm going to let this set for at least a day. To let that get drawn up in there that uh that uh fuel needs to wick up and get this get this moist i don't want to burn that wick dry so it's actually the fuel that burns off the wick so we'll get that we'll let that sit for a day let that wick get nice and wet, and then I'll come back and put this thing together and uh, get it fired up. All right, looking good. Let's fire this up. Come on. <laughs> looking good. Now let's put the gallery and the mantle back on. There we go. Crank this up. Get that done. Now this has got to warm up. Could take up to 10 minutes to warm up. So we'll just sit, sit here and burn and I'll be back. Well, we are getting there. This is looking good. And I put the band back on. I'm gonna to try to do it the, uh, the uh, other way. You got this band here. You got this uh, engaging and disengaging hook to allow you to get that lamp up in there once you get it lit. So, We'll give that a try. Well, there it is back in its cradle. So this comes on hooked. You push this forward, it comes on hooked and this band opens and allows you to drop this lamp down inside there. So that's how you get that in and out. I found it seemed to be just as easy of unscrewing these two and just dropping the whole thing down. But we're, uh, we're burning there and we're going. So, there we have it. 
I've got me an Aladdin lamp ready to go, just in case the power goes out. Thanks for watching.